Hey, hi there, Pisces. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for May 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Pisces, off camera to save time. I've performed a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over this reading just for you. We will be using a card from the Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. And Pisces, you've got the Two of Raphael, Water Energy, the same as the Two of Cups. You also have the Lovers in this reading, which this is a soulmate reading, Pisces. Here we go. The first card is the General Atmosphere. The basis of the matter. This is the situation. The Queen of Pentacles, Pisces. Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Male or female. Now, this could be in your chart. Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be your moon. It could be your rising. Now, this person, they're domestic. They're practical. They're capable, they're orderly. They're a generous and benevolent regal woman, and they respect money as a tool, but they do not worship it. They want tangible results from the money they distribute or offer. This can be someone's mother, or someone nurturing like a mother. This is security and harvest after much labor. It's prudent uses of resources. This is a person that's protective and nurturing. They're resourceful and bountiful, and they're down to earth. Fertile, healthy, a homemaker, a housekeeper. They love gardens and growing things. They love nature and animals. And fertility is represented here. This is someone that's affectionate and caring and they know how to manage money. This has to do with material concerns. Could also be help given of a practical nature. And they teach us that what is cherished must be cared for. This is someone that puts a high value on stability. Or could be someone not showing or saying how they feel. And take some time to consider all the options before you proceed. This is being warm and peaceful, hospitable, earthy, nurturing, sensual, faithful, security-minded, and efficient. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Number six of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the lovers. This can represent a Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus. A Gemini could be in your chart, could be in someone else's chart. Now this has to do with relationship, love and union, sexuality and choice, a decision. It's fruitfulness of the correct thought. It's choice and temptation and attraction, the struggle between sacred and profane love, the harmony of the inner and outer aspects of life, and learning and growing through relationships, trials, soulmates, being meant for each other, alignment and balance between physical desire and spiritual needs, and sometimes this is a difficult choice. This can be problems of a sexual nature, it can represent the power of a mature sexual union and the angel above them, the angel Raphael, that is the angel of air, of communication, because Mercury rules Gemini. That angel stands for truth and strength found in a relationship. It's an important and usually long-lasting relationship. It brings physical and emotional healing, trials overcome, attraction, if you're unattached, it points to a future relationship. It could also mean help from a lover or a friend. And if you're single, it's time to let love come into your life. This card carries a blessing. There may be a need to heal a rift or a romantic involvement coming. It's a critical life decision with a, re a love relationship, being at a crossroads. And remember to act with your heart and choose the best version of yourself. And do what you love and everything else will follow naturally. The Queen of Pentacles with the Lovers is a deep connection or a bond. It is beneficial to your life. Nurture and cherish this bond, this connection. It may last a lifetime. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The King of Pentacles, Pisces, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, 
sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, Venus. This card also represents security. The bull's head is a symbol of Taurus, wealth. This can be a benefactor, a wealthy or a mature person, that they're dependable, they're solid, they're kind to others, they're slow moving and they're noble and sophisticated. They're materially oriented with a lot of ambition. Could be you or someone around you that aspires to great wealth. This could be a father or a boss or a significant other. This is a man that loves money and riches and they're happy to collect as much as possible. And they're very clever in business matters, like a financial wizard. And they're not corrupt. They earn money through hard and patient effort, not through unworthy or dishonest business dealings. And he's generous with what he has and he shares gladly. He has complete mastery over the land and the animals. There's a lesson to be learned here and that's to be content with what you have and express your needs and undertake what is necessary for their fulfillment. Something tangible is completing. This is the fulfillment of desires and the power to manifest. This is someone that treats his queen like a queen, and he will battle to defend his kingdom. Queen of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles is husband and wife. They can be business partners. This is complete and total balance of work and home. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number seven of the major arcana, the chariot. Now this can be a cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus could be in your chart. Could be some in, a, in someone else's chart that you're dealing with. Or it could be the energy coming through of triumph and success and control over the forces of nature, as well as ill health or money difficulties or enemies of any sort, including your own lower animal passions. This is a clear sense of purpose. It can also indicate travel and in comfort. It's mental and physical powers that lead to fulfillment. It's putting commitment to the test. It can be a struggle or a conflict of interest. You'll need to steer a middle course through opposing feelings and thoughts and desires. It's control and momentum with willpower and determination. Victory is assured. This is conquest of mind over emotions. It can also represent your car or transportation. This is someone that's victorious over the external problems of life. They have a confident personality. This can be a fight for self-assertion. It's action and determination. It's overcoming obstacles and clearing of the path to victory and your desires. It's swift action in reaching your goals. It's a positive and quick result on the way. And it's mastery over opposing forces. It's going with the flow and using firm resolve and staying on the course you have set for yourself. It can also mean assistance is on the way. And this is creating a firm foundation on which to pursue your desires. This is a clear sense of purpose. It has to do with your soul tests and advance advancements. It's movement fueled by planning and willpower. It's commencement, challenge, and victory. It's being purposeful and brave and driven, disciplined, ambitious, ideal, idealistic, and victorious. The Queen of Pentacles with the Chariot card is taking charge or control of finances. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Well, this card does represent the unseen and the unknown. Number two of the major arcana, the high priestess. And here you are, Pisces. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Now, this has to do, it's linked to the moon. It's has a Venus female energy, it's passive. This has to do with hidden influences, secret knowledge. It's the link between the seen and the unseen. It's latent power to manifest. It's gestation before new life. It has to do with divine truth and wisdom and nurturing the spark of creation. This is the connection with the unconscious world, esoteric studies, an unrevealed future. There's hidden influences at work here. This special value for artists and poets and composers and mystics. And when this card appears in a man's reading, it represents the perfect woman that all men dream of. And if this is a woman's reading, this then this is you. It's honoring your inner being. There's natural insight and secrets and mystery and silence, tenacity, 
wisdom, science, represents the unknown, a quiet woman, and it's a time when it is better to sit still and seek peace within the self. Seek awareness and be still. Listen to your inner knowledge because you can answer your own questions. The Queen of Pentacles with the High Priestess represents someone with healing abilities. They also have intuitive knowledge. They have knowledge of herbs, Reiki, aromatherapy, stuff like that. The lovers with the king of pentacles is a choice or a goal to invest in and commit to. He goes that extra mile for you. He's a giver. The lovers with the chariot card is a loving relationship that leads to a better life. It can represent someone's first emotional experience or involvement. It can also be testing someone else's love. It can also be a mystical experience. Lovers with the high priestess represents love fantasies love that ignores serious obstacles, and in some cases, unrealistic love. The King of Pentacles with the Chariot is a victory coming into money. It could be a windfall. The King of Pentacles with the High Priestess represents some extremes here. It's strong intuition, it's trust in your gut, and you'll benefit by waiting. The Chariot with the High Priestess is wisdom and knowledge that is the key to the path to victory and conquest. Inner knowledge you may be conflicted about. Your Archangel Power Tarot card by Radley Valentine. The Two of Raphael, Water Energy, the same as the Two of Cups. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, and don't give up on those you love. Two hearts can create something wonderful. A friendship can grow deeper, or a romance can flourish and bloom. Regardless of the nature of the relationship, time deepens the bond, and a long-term connection based on respect and understanding develops. This is a card of kindred spirits. Forgiveness heals wounded feelings. Relationships can be reconciled. Now is not the time to give up on those you love. Disagreements between people or groups will come to a positive resolution. Additional meanings, flirting, making a commitment, mutual interests, and a, a magnetic connect, connection. Thanks, you guys, Pisces. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.